Hey Cancers, let's get into your astrology forecast for the month of September. So if you're a side real Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, continue watching and we're just going to get right into it. So y'all, the concentration for you guys this month is happening in your um, third and second house. So first it's going to be your second house. So right now there's a new moon that's going on in your uh, second house in Leo. So basically this is a good time to set the intention to increase your earnings and assets and what you do on the day to day. This can also be a good intention to, um, a good time to set intentions to mend any issues that may be going on with your family as well if that's something that you're experiencing. So Mercury for the most part will be going between your second and third houses. So Mercury is going to be in your second house and this is going to be this energy where basically you have a lot of mental capacity, a mental capability and Mercury will be in your second house until the 22nd. So there's some, it'll be there for um, a while throughout the month. You're going to have the mental capability to basically um, think up and communicate up new ways to increase your earning and increase your income. So definitely do that for sure this month. Take advantage of that. And um, also the third house energy that's happening this month is that Venus is going to be in your third house for a good half of the month. Um, and the sun will be going into your third house into Virgo for the second half of the month. And Mercury will be going into Virgo, which is his sign of rulership and exaltation on the last week of the month. So, and then K2 is, of course, in Virgo. K2's been in Virgo for a minute. So basically, this uh, month, you will find more opportunities in your, um, especially around the second half of the month, you'll find more opportunities in your um immediate environment and in your neighborhood there could be more job opportunities or just more career lucrative opportunities and if you've been going through issues with your siblings or anything like that they they could let up at this time and you could actually hear good news about your sibling as well especially your younger siblings but doesn't have to be so also i'm seeing that venus will go into your fourth house in mid of the month when venus moves into libra and venus rules libra so this could bring beautification of the home it could bring a new vehicle it could bring um a, a closer relationship with your homeland with your ancestors with your mother and it could bring just more abundance within your home life and if you're looking to buy a house at this time or to maybe to invest in a property or a vehicle it would be a good time to do that during the second half of the month so uh, saturn retrograde is still in your eighth house saturn is takes a long time saturn is in retrograde in aquarius right now so you're really deeply looking at your psychology the occult topics i mean you're watching this video so you probably want to get even deeper within your occult studies so you could learn astrology you could join zodiac and fem and get all 27 the structure gems for the price of one for this limited time only and just learn more about your astrology and the astrology of of others because i'm learning i'm hearing that you're learning how to basically um utilize your cancerian energy or utilize your ability to create new emotions on the spot to your advantage and learning about astrology and your placements also are going to be really beneficial for you guys at this time if you want to see that long-term growth and stability um because saturn is a long transit so also there's going to be a full moon in your ninth house with Rahu. So Rahu's currently in your ninth house. And basically this is showing that there's going to be some illumination around your fortune. So you could get news of some fortune coming through. Um, something could, you could learn some news about your father or you could even travel or um, go on a trip. Um, and some of you guys could desire to go back to university. And if that is something that is on your mind, this is a good time to do that or at least start planning towards it. And Jupiter is still in your 11th house. So this brings long-term fulfillment of desires and expansion against your desires uh, or for your desires. And it could even bring in large sums of money and just expansion of friendships and friend groups and getting around 
uh, groups of more into influential people can be beneficial for you. And this month, you could even find that they are in your immediate environment or in your neighborhood or just somewhere like where that's drivable because of the third house concentration and Venus being in your third house. So that's something also you could see. So Mars will be in your 12th house for the um, bulk or for the full month because Mars is currently in Gemini. So some secret enemies could be revealed to you. Anything that's draining your energy will be revealed to you. Um, be aware of impulsive spending at this time or overspending. Um, but there, the money will be replaced because of your the new moon if you set the intention for any money that you spend to be replaced and renewed it definitely will and also um this is a good time if you would like some bad pleasures to put some energy into getting that as well and really really connecting to that passionate side um if you're in a relationship and things of that nature and uh, yeah just be aware of your spending all and a pulse of spending i'm seeing with the uh like i'm hearing that you could be talked into spending or um overspending basically because sometimes you just have to spend spend but just do what feels right for you y'all and anything else i'm seeing yeah those are like the biggest things um a lot of fulfillment of desires. So if you've just been feeling down lately or like things aren't really working the way that you want them to, know that there is a lot of fulfillment of desires. And I highly recommend that uh, you watch the Cancer September Tarot reading. I'll link it down below as well as all the September forecasts because it's best if you watch this for your sun, moon, and rising and uh, the tarot readings for your sun, moon, and rising so you can have the most guidance in order to create your fortune this month. So I will link the Cancer and the structures down below, which are Pusha, Ashleisha, and Pernavasu. If you want to learn more about those within the gyms, or if you want to get all 27 gyms or you want multiple gyms, I would just recommend getting the 27 gym bundle because you can get all 27 structures. Literally, the, all the 27 gyms on how to create your fortune using astrology for the price of one. And that is like such an amazing deal. If you if you want to um, support my content and support the continuation of frequent, consistent uploads, I do have a Patreon uh, where I upload astrology content and a Patreon where I upload um, tarot content. And also, um, if you would like to book a reading with me, I do offer one and two question tarot readings. That's going to be linked in my description as well as a love reading. So a full comprehensive synastry reading as well as a mini synastry reading where I just look at the main top aspects as well as a, a full comprehensive birth chart reading, which goes through, has seven parts. And or you can get a rapid reading, which basically just looks at what I see in your chart first glance. It's really good if you just need some um, quick guidance, because I also look at the transits and give you some advice on how to create your fortune. And if you have a specific question about your chart, I do offer a service called Ask Me Anything, and that'll all be linked in the description. So if you've been watching to this end, put an emoji in the comments and comment down below your side real sun, moon, and rising, y'all. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.